Data replication is a useful way to consolidate disparate data. Given the different forms that data can take across CRM, accounting, and ERP applications, cleansing and transforming SAS data presents its own set of challenges. Enter CData Sync 2018. With the transform feature of CData Sync, users get the ability to perform basic transformations like customizing the names or data types of columns, creating computed columns using SQL operations on existing columns, and even performing complex actions like parsing JSON or XML data into something that is relevant and meaningful for the destination database. With supported SQL operations for parsing aggregate data, users can even turn hierarchical data into related tables, replicating nested data into a relational model of data that is immediately consumable by any tool that can connect to the replication destination. For this video, we will connect CData Sync to Zero Accounting and replicate data from the invoices into two separate tables, invoices and invoice line items. Doing so allows you to create two related tables that contain the minimum amount of information relevant to each kind of object. First, we need to connect CData Sync to Zero. On the Connections tab, click Zero and enter the necessary connection properties. For this demo, we'll use the OAuth functionality including automatic refreshing of expired tokens. With the connection to zero established, we need to connect to a replication destination. For the demo, we'll simply connect to a SQLite database. Now that we've connected to the source and destination, we are ready to configure the replication job. We'll add a new job and start the replication by choosing the invoices table to replicate. The zero API returns invoices and line items together. The CData provider interprets the results and automatically joins the two objects together so that you have one row for each line item with shared field values for each invoice. For our replication, we want to separate this information. To do so, we only replicate the fields with invoice specific information and set a filter on the replication query to ensure that we only receive one row per invoice. To replicate the line items from an invoice, we again select the invoices table to replicate, but this time, we rename the destination table and only replicate the fields with line item specific information. Each line item is tied to its parent invoice by the ID, meaning that you can configure a standard foreign key based one to many relationship between the invoices and invoice line items in the replication destination. If we knew that we only wanted to replicate the invoices for a specific account, we could even add a condition to filter the replicated data by adding a WHERE clause to the query from the TRANSFORM feature. With the replications configured, we simply schedule the replication intervals, or run the replication manually, and we're ready to work with our zero accounting data in SQLite. As you've seen, CData Sync allows you to create and maintain a replica of your SAS cloud data, making it easily accessible from common database tooling, software drivers, and analytics. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team by emailing support at cdata.com. Download a free 30-day trial of the Sync application from cdata.com sync and see the Cdata difference for yourself.